Hey, how's it going? For today, I want to build a greenhouse. I think I have everything that we need. I've done a ton of harvesting up in the volcano with the Architavis. I've got everything from crystal, some obsidian, some more metal. So I think we're kind of set. The only problem is I'm not too sure where I want to build it or the design. Now there's a couple different places we could set it. One would be out here kind of over the water of all things. It's super shallow here, so we could build from here out. That'll give us room because it won't be taking up any space over here, right? This is all going to be for our breeding and stuff. The second option would be to remove the door here. Kind of just build it out here, right? That way it kind of butts up right to our fence, and then you can access it from right here. I don't use that gate too often. I usually fly in with the Argentavis over here, or with the, the Parasaurs. I usually come from that direction, so it's not too used. The problem is there's no water, right? So we'd have to either build some tanks over here, and then either fill them up with the rain or with the water skins, or pipe it in from all the way over there. So not too sure about that. There is one third place. Not really wanting to, but we could... Turn the lights up. <laughs> we could build it out over here on this island. It's kind of nice. We could build it up. We got water all around. The problem is there are circles that way. There's a ton of dillos. Not too sure how safe it would be. And if we'll get attacked. Plus it's kind of way away from the, uh, the base itself with our electricity. So I think we might... Ah, dude. I think we might just build it off the front here. It's kind of what I'm leaning towards. Junior! Go somewhere else, please. I do not want you wandering into base. But yeah, with putting it out here, the ground is really uneven, so I'm not too sure how far we could come out. I'm thinking about doing... Maybe like one foundation here. And then we'll spread it out to three wide? Do we want to do three wide? I'm not too sure. We're using the medium crop plots, right? And I want to do enough to where we have two of each flavor. We could do it four wide. But that'll be an odd number for our door and stuff. Let's see, let's see. First things first, let's make some foundations. Turn the lights back down. It is the middle of the night. It's kind of nice being able to build whenever I want to. With the new lights and stuff. Oh, we got some uh, dino treats we need to get rid of. Let's just put it into the Parasaur for right now. And you got a points. Let's grab stuff here. Make a couple foundations. And see where we're at in life. I'm hoping with the irrigation, we have it all unlocked. For the most part, I don't think we need the inclined and probably don't need the vertical. We'll unlock it if we do, but the greenhouse... Oh, I totally forgot we need to unlock all this stuff. I hope we got enough points. We definitely need the walls. We need these for sure. We need the slope. Ooh. We don't have enough for the doors. We're almost at a level up. Maybe we'll get enough for the double doors. And we'll have to set it to where we don't use these, so... Hmm. It's gonna kind of dictate if we needed to be... We needed to be an even number of foundations wide. Odd number, we'd have to put that in the middle. Get some foundations made. Hopefully crafting will give us another skill bar, you know, enough to top up. It should, it should. Not saying it will. So if we do... We do that, right? Say we do it an even number. And we do... Foundation and foundation with some stairs and then expand it out to four wide, maybe a four by four. That'll be 16. We should be able to get quite a few of the crop plots in there. If we do two stories high, we can double stack them, I think, right? With a, a ceiling in between to set the other crop plots on. I think. I don't know if that works in vanilla. We'll have to see. How many of these we got? We got six. Please tell me we have enough. We need some more wood. We need 18 altogether. We should be fine. We should have enough. The only thing is, the crop plots also use stone. 50 stone for each one. Oh, dude. That kind of sucks, man. And I don't know about the irrigation. I'm not too sure if we can set that down in foundations. Or if that... Oh, there's our level up. Or if that counts as a collision. It's going to kind of change up how we do that as well. Let's put this into health. So here's what I'm doing with our health and stuff. Let me show you that before we do this. So the max fall damage you can take, I think it's 400 from any height. So if we get this over to like 450 or so, we should be somewhat safe. That way we can fall off the bird and not have to have the parachutes, right? We just have it take like almost all of our health. The problem is if you're already at like half health and you jump off, <laughs> it's still going to take the 400. So I'm not too sure, man. I'm not too sure. Let's unlock the rest of the greenhouse. We need the double doorways. At least the frame. Okay, yeah, so I'm not too worried about this. 
That's gonna take how many? Probably another another 30. We don't need the actual door, just a door frame so it doesn't look too weird. And I think we need that for building on top, right? To be able to put another wall. All right, 18 of these, two sets of stairs. Let's get rid of you. Probably gonna be overweight. Oh, we're good, we're good. Yep, we are not good. All right, tell you what. <laughs> we'll drop it here for the moment. All right, so for these, how are we gonna fit with two? So what I'm thinking is if I put two down and then start our four by four, that'll be fine. We'll have these to kind of block the way so that nothing can come by here and get in. I can't clip into there. It can't a little bit. Interesting. Can I get this lined up? There was a thing that doesn't kind of go into that one at all. I mean, it does a little bit. Let's try. That's nope too far over. It's not gonna work with side by side. I don't think so We might have to do it like this That'll work, but it's kind of offset. I'll right, tell you what this is the part where it's gonna take me forever And I want to get this stuff picked up Let's pull you closer junior Put all this into him for the moment I don't want to waste it because we're gonna be using all that anyways for the greenhouse Now back you up back you up Get the tail out of the way. Leave him there, he'll be fine. Alright, give me a second, let me get these kind of set out for the first two, and then I wanted to see too... If we set these... I can't still do that. Okay, that'll work out, that'll work out. I think that might be fine. It's offset a little bit still, but... I think it'll be good. We can do these on both sides. Is that alright? It'll be fine. Maybe we'll do some pillars here on the side just to kind of cap that off if we can. Not sure if that's a thing with vanilla. So that's the start there. And then here's the the big test, right? If we set these out. We come down this way. Oh, that is super close to being too high. Nice, man. Nice. Ah, oh, dude, that'll work out. That'll work out good there. Let's leave one out because I want to do some more testing. Junior, please go somewhere else. That way, very, very far. Take a swim, cross the water, watch out for the piranhas, and you'll be fine. I want to leave this open to try something with... Do we have any stone on us? We don't. With the irrigation. I don't know if you can put those down into the foundations on vanilla. We'll do a couple of these. And see if that works out. If so, oh, that's a huge game changer. Oh, you can! Wait a minute, does that work out with the electricity as well? Because if it does, we might just build all this in here with a floor. And then just put the electricity in there. No, we'll leave it, we'll leave it. What we might end up doing is just burying it whenever we build our proper base. Still looking for a place, but let's do some testing real quick. Oh, it does sit down in it. Interesting. So that'll be a lot better. I'll have to do, I'll have to bury all of our stuff whenever we build our new base. You can actually do it on the ground too and then build on top, I bet. Right? Let's try something. Oh, you can. That's even better. That way you can get your foundation set like perfectly. Nice, man. Nice. All right, let's do this. What I want to do, not you, not you. We're not doing electricity. I want to get this one set kind of perfect, right? If we get this one lined up, we can build off of it for the rest. So left or right. I think right there might be good. I just don't know if we're set back far enough. Let's try this. And one there. One there. One here. Are we poking out of the back? I don't think so. That might be good. Let's, yep. Jump up, dude. Jump, jump. I know you can do it. Nope, not you. One right there. One right there. We need to build one, two, three, four more. And that should be good then. We need some more stone. That'll allow us just to put the tank on one side, connect it into there, and then we'll have water all the way around. I think we're just going to have it all on the ground. 
the taps kind of go for a very long distance. So I don't want to put them in the ceiling like I usually do. I think it was four more, right? Where is... There we go. So four of you. We're going to need... Oh, we might need to unlock the vertical too. Right? I think the tanks need a vertical and then we can do the flex. It's fine. We would need it eventually anyways. And one of you. Now, what do we need for the tanks? Just some paste. Let's get one of them made. Three. Where's the rest of my paste? That is terrifying. Boy, I tell you what. I knew I had a bunch of it. Hopefully it's enough for today. We'll just do one for right now. I'm not sure if that needs to be built on a foundation. It does. Of course it does. Why wouldn't it need to be on a foundation? Now we'll just, like I said, we'll just do one for now. See how that works out. I can always add in a second one later. It's not too big of a deal. All right, so leave you, and you, and some of you. So we got, let's do these first. Oh, that's going to stick out. Ah, dude, that sucks, man. It's too far over. Hmm. I mean, what we could do is just... Let's do this. We'll do one right here. Two. Let's do, we got a flex already. I'm hoping that's connected. <laughs> we'll find out soon enough. I hope that's connected. If so, we're kind of set. It'll be all right. Let's put you down here. And I think for the water tanks, we want it to be on this side. Let's do it on this side just in case. We need to pipe it in from over there. Or is that closer? Kind of closer over here. I don't want to do the pipes. I really don't. That I can kind of clip under the ground. Possibly, maybe, I'm not too sure. Let's do it right here. And that'll be our place for our tank. Wait, what? Does it have to be on a cross piece? Oh, it's going to be super weird. Why is that a thing? We'll deal with this later. I'm not going to deal with it now. That is super weird with the tanks having to be on the cross piece. No one can do it there. It's still going to be in the middle of a foundation. Ah, oh, that is weird, dude. I don't like it at all. Anyways, let's get some stuff together for the... It's gonna mess our doors up, man. We have an even number here. So the door's either gonna be on the right or the left. I didn't think about that. I wonder if we can free float it. Or if it'll break. Because it's over foundation. Maybe we'll leave these two doors, or these two pieces of glass empty. And come in here? I don't know, let's get some walls making, though. So we're gonna need paste over here. Take a bunch of it. Let's get rid of this electrical piece. Tired of clicking on it on accident. Gonna need a bunch of the crystal. And then we should have some more metal kind of smelting up. Dude, I tell you what, it takes forever. We should be good, though. Alright, so. Let's do... Let's do five of these. They get started. And then we'll do... We're gonna need two rights, two lefts. Right? One, two... We're gonna need four of each. Four of you. Four of you. Actually, let's build a couple more of these. I'm not sure what we're out of. That'll be enough for testing. So that for sure is going to be a wall and a wall. 
a wall and a wall. That should keep anything from coming in there. This one. We might just move that spike wall over. Okay, look, look, look. We're fine, we're fine, we're fine. <laughs> it might be alright. I don't want to mess with it. It's good. What I'm hoping is... If we do it like that... Can I place this down? Wait, we need a wall to go up there. I need some more walls, don't I? I do. Let's pick you up. What are we missing? Crystal. Dude, are we gonna have enough crystal? I don't know. We might. Dude, I tell you what, I harvested so much up on the mountain. Let's do some walls. Fourteen more. We'll probably need all that. Let's grab some water. We might have to do another run. Wait, we don't need 14. Let's not go overboard here. Again, we're shy on crystal. I'll count it out. But I'm hoping if we... Should we do some slopes too? For testing? Put this down. Will the other one free float up there? Because it's attached to that? Ah, dude. I don't want it to break, man. Let's grab a slope too and test. We'll do five of those. I know we need a bunch of those regardless. I've never been so nervous for building a greenhouse ever, man, in Ark. It's just... The crystal's kind of hard to come by, and then... I'm not too sure about the structural integrity. Alright, so there's two of those. I'm hoping it all holds itself up, right? We could test this with some... Regular walls, can't we? Be a little bit cheaper. Some stone ones. We got wood, which is even cheaper. Let's use those. It shouldn't really matter, but I'm hoping to have it span this up there. Hold everything up and then not have anything here. Have it just kind of open. Alright, let's drop you here. And you there. We'll do... This. And that. You're gonna have another slope on top. And that should be it. Now this will be a greenhouse glass there. And you. If I remove you... Everything breaks. Interesting. So that's not gonna work. We have to have a door. Ah, oh, dude, the door's gonna be offset! I hate that. I hate that so much. Right or left? Right or left? I think we'll just do it over there. And that'll be a double doorway. At least we only lost the one top part, right? In the testing. So it's not too bad. Alright, let me get this counted out. Let's put it on our walls. Now, I was thinking about going too high, but I think what we might end up doing is... That might be big enough for all of them down here. Let's grab a couple of these small crop plots. Or medium, sorry. Medium. Some of you. Some fiber. Thatching wood. We'll make five. That'll be enough for testing. I just want to set them out and see how far I can go with them, right? I'm not sure if there's, like... Maybe I can get two for each foundation? Maybe just the one? I usually build always with the large ones, but if we only need medium, it'll definitely save on some space. Alright, one more. Let's drop all this extra stuff off. We're gonna be super overweight. We don't need this wall anymore, either. I could always put the water tank up here. Seems like we got that extra space. Alright. So we'll do one, two, three, four. We can get five. So that's five, ten. We can actually do two rows of those. Since now we got the door kind of offset. So let's just do it one story. We don't have to do it two stories. It'll be fine like that. I probably didn't need to go as wide, but 
It would have been weird having just one foundation here and then three. And we'd need those other ceilings unlocked too, so we don't have those. Let's set these out and count and see how many more we need. We might be good. Why is that? Look, like it's facing the wrong way. We do. We got too many. Just by two. That's fine. I'll break them. Wait, no. We need them anyways, right? We need one there. And we need to do them up here, too. So I'm still going to need to build one more. Set these out. That's not too bad. So we need one more of these slopes. I'm guessing that's a... Is that a right or a left? Can't see it. That's a left, so we need a right, and a wall, and a doorway. A right, we're missing some crystal. Yep, we're not gonna have enough. One right. One wall. And one doorway. We've got some of those. I'll count them out. I'm gonna be shy on those, though. We'll have to do a crystal run real quick. Not that too big of a deal. Wait, did I not grab... A double doorway? There we go. I know I made it. Like I said, we don't have to put a door on it. It's fine. See how it opens up right into base? Wait, is it going... There we go. Wall up there. And that's... We've got two of these. Nice, man. Nice! Our little greenhouse. I like it. I like it. It's a lot taller than it needs to be, but at least we're not claustrophobic inside. We have plenty of room. And then we have... Two, four, six... Eight, ten, twelve. Twelve more on the slopes and we'll be good. We can do four. We need enough for eight more. So, a couple stacks of crystal. Oh, dude, it took forever to get the stacks, man. While we're waiting, <laughs> let's do something else, too. Because I'm going to have to go up and get some more for sure. I want to take a canteen with me. It's been bugging me that I don't have one. We need to make up some polymer, though. Stack of you. We'll get this crafting up. Let's craft all 50 of them. And then we just need some hide. And that's it. We should have enough over there for everything else. Grab that too. Might as well leave a little bit more in here. Nice. And then we just need the... Wait. Let's make it now. Stop you. Craft one. Craft the rest of that. I put our medical brew into the refrigerator. It was kind of, kind of a waste sitting sitting there, spoiling. You know. Let's put you right there. We don't need the torch too often. We'll hold on to it. Nice man, nice ah uh, dude. Can't wait till we can get a tech one. That is a very long ways away. I can't remember. I think that's a Gen two one. So we're kind of set. I need to go out get some more crystal. Probably do that before it gets dark. And then we'll go ahead and start setting out our crop plots. We'll get our irrigation in. And I need to see what we have for seeds. We got enough of those. We got enough of those. One, two. We need some more of these. And where is... What do we got? That, that. We're missing the other one. The pota uh, potatoes. Alright. We are. So I'll have to do some harvesting with the Parasaurus too. Alright, I will see you in a little bit. I have a lot of stuff to get done. That'll be fine. We'll leave it running. It'll be fine. And how are our... Yep, our pick's almost broke. I got a second one that I made that I was taking with me. It should be somewhere in here. Somewhere? Maybe? There we go. Let's see, I know I have another one. Alright, it is the next morning. Of course, it would be raining and we don't have our water tank out. Let's try to get that done real quick. We have the crystal we need. The volcano has absolutely zero crystal left. 
<laughs> I had to go up to the uh, snow biome to grab a tiny bit more. And that completes that. Ah, dude, nice, man. All right, let's do this. Let's run out here. We'll try to set up the water tank. It's, it's going to be very sketchy how we put it out, but it'll be fine for right now. I'll work with it later. I just want to be able to have some rain start collecting, right? No, I might just end up scrapping it all together and just running a water pipe. I don't, I don't know yet. I don't know. It's going to look terrible, though, regardless. Let's put you... I guess right there will be fine. And it's going to be super weird how this kind of clips in. And what I might do is just put another foundation right there and it should be fine. How quick do you... Collect water. You do collect water, right? Isn't that? They are. 15. It's going to take forever. It only holds 200, though. I think all the crop plots use a lot more of that, so it's going to take forever for them to fill up. But once it fills up, it should be okay, I think. Let's grab stuff for one more foundation. Ooh. We're out of stone. Junior! Please tell me you got some. He's got some. All right, one more you. Put those points into there. Leave these here. Let's put this last one out. And that's the only thing that kind of sucks is having to always run around. But once we get stuff set up over here, we shouldn't need to come back out. I've got these, but once we get the dung beetle, we won't need those anymore, right? Ah, oh, the rain stopped. We didn't get nearly enough. Wait, can I not? I can't place this down because that's already there. Oh, that sucks. So our little bit of water that we got. <laughs> Let's demolish it. Look, dude, look. I don't want to talk about it. I don't want to talk about it. I rushed to get that out. And now we can't build another one, right? We need some more cement paste. Look, man, look. I know, I know. It's, it's vanilla building. I get it. I get it. We'll have to get used to it. Because whenever the ASA comes out... It'll all be vanilla anyways, right? Because there's not going to be any mods right off the start. So we'll have to get used to it. We need some paste. Leave that. And let's do a little bit of you. A little bit of you. And one of those. I don't want to unlock the metal one until I figure out if I'm going to end up keeping this one or not. If we end up running water, we won't need any of the water tanks. If we end up just using the water reservoirs, we'll just unlock the metal one because it holds more. That way, whenever it rains, it'll have a lot more to collect, you know? Alright, now you don't look weird. I mean, you kind of do. You're taking up two spaces, but is is what it is, man. It's fine. It's fine. We'll deal with it. That should be irrigated in now. I'll have to make up some of the water taps, and I've got a ton of the crop plots made, too. I think I got, like, yep, 15 of them. That should be enough. And all this crystal, that's kind of all that's on the snow biome. On this side, I have to go around to the front side to get any more. It's, yeah, it's not respawning. Kind of has me worried a little bit. Let's set these out. I still need to go out and farm up some of the seeds, but... We don't have enough of the fertilizer yet for them all anyways. Alright, so that should be square there. One... And we can get five. I'm not worried about that little bit of a gap. It's fine. Actually, we could probably get three wide here. Oh, that would be fantastic, dude. It's going to stick out in the walkway a little bit. Let's leave it. Let's just do the two and the one on this side. And then if we need more for some reason, we can always run them down here. I'm not too sure how slow they grow on vanilla settings. So on my other series, I don't think I had boosted rates for the crop plots, right? The crop times and stuff, I think they're all the same. Oh, do you got the 300? Okay, it does. I was going to say, why are they at zero? So it gets a full bonus, so that's not too bad. And somebody left me a comment, too, about the plant species. So apparently you can grow them on regular fertilizer, or the, uh, the dino treats. But for them to actually work, you got to have fertilizer in there. So that is something I had no idea about. I always try to use fertilizer for growing them. But seems how we're having problems with that right now. I just use the dino treats. So, good bit of information. So that's fine there. That is 15 crop plots. 
We can do quite a few of each of the seeds. Let's get some of the taps made up. I'm gonna need this and that. I think that's it, right? So we're gonna need one, two, three, I think four should be enough. Let's try it with four and see how it goes. Like two on this side and two on that side. Well, I mean, we need to pipe in some water or something first since we remade that. I think right there would be fine. And then... Could you not be even? Boy, I'll tell you what. I mean, that's fine, that's fine. That should feed those, and that should feed all of those. It's... We'll do it proper whenever we build our new base. I'll take the time, get everything set just right. It's kind of why I like doing it in the ceiling, because you can always see exactly where it is. That's usually why I build it tall like this. I do, you know, one or two runs right here with the water. But let's try to get some water filling that up real quick for the tank and see how it's all flowing. Let's leave this little bit of stone too in here. And we shouldn't need those. Alright, like I said, once we get the dung beetle, life will be a little bit easier. Let's go around this way and we'll fill up the tank. I think you can fill it with the water skins. I really hope so. If not, I'll make a bunch of the irrigation and just run it out there for testing. I should fill it up, right? Wait, maybe that all went out into the crop plots. Let's go see. Alright, who has water? Zero, 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 zero. You do. So that is working. That's 400 for each one. Holy crap, dude, that is a ton, man! One tank, I don't think, will be enough. Not too sure how much it uses once they're producing seeds. But that's a lot to fill up. Is it easier just to run pipe to fill it up for right now? I don't know. Give me a few minutes. I think I'm gonna do it by hand. It'll be fine. It'll be fine! Are we done? I think we're good. It's down two. Alright, let's go in and see. <laughs> I ended up making a ton more water skins. Look, dude, the trips back and forth, it was taking forever with just the four. I kind of like how the canteen holds, I think, like three? Three or four drinks worth? So that's kind of neat. I might just make up quite a few canteens and fill them. So the water skins, you know, kind of... They leak water over time. But the canteens don't, so if I fill those up and just keep them inside the water tank there. I can always just kind of pump that up whenever I'm outside. But all these are good. I think. Let's double check them all. They should all have reach. All we're missing is some fertilizer. <gasps> that one doesn't reach. Or these. Wait, why are these not connected? You are not running. I'm not sure why. Oh, you know what? That's the one we tried doing with the, the flex piece. Let's make another flex. Maybe the flex didn't connect like I was hoping it would. So we're not actually done... <laughs> ...filling up the water. Let's make one of you. Hopefully we can kind of connect it in. Oh yeah, while we're over here, do we have any railings? I'm gonna forget and I really want to put some railings up. Let's do this. Dude, I spent so long farming everything up for this video and now we're already... ...almost out of everything. Wood, stone... I will put you right there. And you right there. We could do some down, too. I think it might kind of clip in there and look weird. That's not too bad there. I want to make some of the lights up as well. So, let's try to get this sorted out with this. It's going to stick up, isn't it? Ah, oh, I don't want it to be out of the ground. We'll do it right here. Maybe it'll be hidden by the plants. So that is irrigating. We're kind of shy on water, so I have to fill up enough for a couple more. Ah, uh, dude, I thought I had it all full. So that's fine. I'm going to need a lot of fertilizer. And we can use some of these for right now. The dino treats. Let's see how many we have out here. I'm going to need all of the water skins again, too. Ah, uh, dude, it's going to be a bunch of trips. But again, I think once we get them full, it should be all right and not have to keep filling them up. There we go. Check on our dino treats over here. 
I feel somewhat safe, too, with these spike walls. I mean, they work decent for what's around here. We got two here. Two more there. Three there. And four there. So we got two, four, six, eight, ten. I mean, that's not too bad. We got eleven. Twelve, thirteen, because I got extras in the plant species. So we're only missing two to do the whole thing. So that's not too bad, man. All right, let me finish filling this up. I'm going to take the parasaur out, grab some seeds. And then, we'll do some planting. Alright, so we finally got the remaining seeds. We only need three of each flavor. This is the one. Dude, I tell you what, I could not get those for anything, man. But, we have enough now. So what I plan on doing is just planting 12 crop plots right now. And that'll be three of each flavor. And then we'll have a couple of spots left. And we'll save those for whatever the flavors are we need for the extraordinary kibble. Whenever we get to it. So I'll have to look that up and see. But for right now, we can at least get this going. Getting kind of late in the day. Let's see, we got 11, right? 2, 4, 6, 8, 9, 10, 11. Let's grab one more out of here. And that'll be 12 that we need. You're fine, you're fine. I was going to go ahead and put the... the other dino tree out there, but it'll be alright. Alright, so everything should be full on water. Let's grab these, 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 and those. So two, four, six, eight. That's gonna be ten here, and then we'll just do eleven and twelve. So fertilizer, fertilizer, and then all of these, and then we'll go ahead and start planting. I think I'm just gonna plant them all next to each other. The uh, the different flavors. Oh wait, I rem. All right, who got the the short end of the stick? I think it was you. There we go. <laughs> we'll just start here. So, let's do one of you, two, and that'll be three, and then we'll do these next, and then we will start with these, and then one of you. The other two over here. Alright, so that'll kind of get that all going. Ah, oh, dude! One thing left to do, and that is to get some lights. I'm hoping... It'll stretch. I'm just gonna put a light right here, and that should be enough. I'm not in here too much at night. It's already pretty bright as it is. But let's go ahead and make one more. One of you should be fine. Let's make a GPS too. Might as well. What are we missing for this? Just some more polymer. Not too much, actually. We'll be able to get one of those made up. I'm not too sure which does more damage. This or the primitive of the other one. I have to kind of see. The other one has a tighter spread, which will definitely be useful. Let's put that into there. Let's... I'll leave this running. But I'll probably go ahead and make up some more. Let's just do it while we're talking. Stack of you. I should have enough pace in here, I think. Yep, make up 50. Nice, man. Nice. All right. I'm thinking just putting one light here. That'll kind of work. Change that to medium. And we're kind of set once we get the dung beetles. Seeing how we got so much room in here, I might just put the cages for those guys back here. We'll have two cages. I kind of want to get two of them just so that we have plenty of the fertilizer. I mean, one might be enough. We'll have to see. And we still got room to expand if we need to. Like I said, we can always do one more row down here of these, depending on how many flavors of the other crop plot that we need for the Extraordinary. But overall, it's not too bad, dude. It is taking so long to get this little tiny greenhouse built. It's kind of the way it goes, though. So we're kind of set. All we have to do, let those things kind of grow up. We'll have stuff for our kibble. The jerky should be enough. We got plenty of the turtle eggs. And that's all that we need just for making the kibble for the berry. It's been a long process. Huge process. Next video, we're taming a dodic. I desperately need one for some stone. Help out with a little bit of the grind. However, we are going to go ahead and leave this one here. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you like our primitive greenhouse build today. As always, thanks for watching. And we'll see you in the next one.